right, one last three rounder, and then we'll get out of here. Yeah, I low key want to. I low key want to steal this and put it on my channel. So let's get this done. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, we got by Sheeran here. About to make a comment about Brandon's out. Oh, well, Brandon, you're not wearing the. I know camo. I'm not wearing. <laughs> but I sure can't say anything. Back to the gulag. Back to the gulag, Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> call the gulag that they go yeah. back to when they die in Call of Duty. Yeah, Joe. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I get the damn joke. <laughs> All right, so All that's right. It. I'm going to put All this right. on my you know, this part. I want this on my All channel. Right. This is going to be our mock draft. Let's freaking do it. So excited. Thinking You're like fine. Howie. Do, do, do. Zach. Um, okay. What, what, what do you do? What do you goes? Same, same thing again. <laughs> At least they're, you know, keeping it, keeping it normal for us. We're not having to right. change our mind too much. All right. We've still got Devontae on the board. Okay. Yeah, I'm going Devontae. I think he would yeah. go. I, I my I pray to God. I pray to every deity out there in the world <clears throat> that he would pick Devontae Smith over Jalen freaking Waddle. I think that's pretty simple. Yeah. <laughs> I hope so. I, I can't say I'd be surprised if he went wild. I we really went with Jalen Waddle. He really fits our system. <laughs> we're, we're a wide we receiver even know factory. We even know wide receiver factory these days, you know. Okay, right. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. I, I, I'll be honest. I would not be surprised if we went Waddle just because Waddle was supposed to be the top guy in this draft until Devontae balled out. But since Devontae did ball out, with that said, I think he would go Devontae. So let's go Devontae. Let's get that over with. Get the nightmare scenarios out. Ooh, all right. Sigh of relief. See what else happens here. Just for everybody that needs to know, I would have still took Smith. I would have considered Parsons at that, to be honest. Yeah. I mean, I'm still kind of skeptical on smaller wide receivers, but Hollywood Brown's doing solid. John Ross is always hurt. So, I mean, like these smaller, fast guys, like there was someone posted something where the top wide receivers in the NFL all ran like, like four fours or like four four fives, whereas none of these guys that are running four two. Four two eight, four two nine. They're not. They're not the best in the in the league. So that shows right. something that these possession receivers, like a Mike Evans and AJ Brown, like those kind of guys. That's what we need. And I think Jamar Chase would be the wide receiver to fall over Devontae Smith. Yeah, uh, I like. Wasn't wasn't, uh, wasn't Keenan Allen like a four six or a four seven? Exactly. Allen, oh yeah, Keenan Allen slow. And I mean, there's a yeah. different. There's different technique to running straight fast, and there's different technique right. to running routes. You know what I'm saying? Kyle Pitts, the Patriots. The Patriots. I was. I, I could, that's I, something I could see. I could see that. Right. If they if they have a quarterback by then, I think that they would go for someone like Trey Lance, though, if he's there, or even a Kyle Trask. Like I feel like Kyle Trask would fit what the Patriots want to do so well. Like, in my opinion, at least, like with their new offense, like how it looked last year, I think he would he would fit right in. I could see it possibly. I mean, because anything's got to be better than Cam Newton at this point. I love Cam Newton, but <laughs> he just he be just not. Uh, he just can't really air it, it out. Anymore. It was it was, it was sad watching. Yeah, he, he's not the same anymore. It's just it's crazy to think that he was an MVP not that long ago, and hate to say that considering the situation we're in right now too. So, uh I love Carson, but <laughs> just speaking of Carson, and like I know we talked about Deshaun Watson earlier. If you were right. one of like the veteran teammates, like like a JJ Watt or like in our case, like a Fletcher Cox or something, how do you feel when your quarterback just doesn't want to be there and is causing all this controversy and everything while on a contract? Don't feel it, good. I mean, it's frustrating. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to do my job on the other side of the ball, but it feels like you know there's problems outside of what's actually being or going on on the field on the other side of the ball. It's like, what, right. like why can't we get this together? Malcolm Jenkins said it best. You know, it's like, you're like, what's going on here? You, you start looking at it and you're like, we're doing the same thing over and over. You're not getting right. a result. I think Malcolm Jenkins said it best. That, that's got to be how it feels. You're just frustrated. All right. right. We got to take him. He's there, bro. He's there. <laughs> But this is, this is this is what would happen. Don't say it. Don't say Howie, it. No, don't say it, Howie Joe. Loves, Howie loves uh, ex-player sons. 
I mean, we got Rager. His dad played for the <laughs> Eagles. That's so true. why not? Like, I like your way of thought. Who else is available though? Let's be let's be fair. Let's let's be fair and see who else is is on this list. All right, Trayvon Morig. We got still got Christian Barrymore, like the one time. Um, Eric Stokes, good corner. Trey Smith, Fryer Mirth, your guy. Um, Dill Moses, Javon Holland, all these guys still on the board. Chad Surratt. Uh, I get. I, I mean, kicker. I personally would go probably kicker. Samuels, <laughs> but there's so many punters available now. I, you know, I would probably go <laughs> Samuels. I hope that he would too. Yeah, yeah. Um, I hope he would. I mean, do you guys think he really would though? Do you, Do you think he wouldn't go defensive line or offensive line or? Since I want to match my Azante Samuel senior jersey with a junior one, I don't think he's going to go with it. I think that's <laughs> yeah. a pretty valid Someone reason. tells me that if he's there, he's not going to go <laughs> with him. Just because maybe because right. we want him. But I, I feel like that's the best pick right here, right? Right, yeah. I, especially for our needs. We need a corner, even if it, we need someone. Yeah. Howie, don't fail us. <laughs> All right, are we taking – we taking a leap of faith and saying how he takes his anti here. I think he, yeah, I think he's smart okay. enough that he wouldn't. Uh. All right, well, I'm, I'm gonna pull this video back up. Come, come after the draft, and we'll <laughs> hopefully we'll have some funny reactions to it. But we'll take me, it. Me and Brandon, time. me and Brandon, stopped doing the um, game predictions like halfway through the season because we were wrong every single time. So every time. I don't think this is going to be any better. We'll, we'll see. The, Although I was we'll right. See. What game did I say? I think I said the Browns. No, you said the, the week after that I said we were going to lose. We lost, but my score wasn't right. I was, trying to, I was trying to reverse psychology and that did not work. Right. <laughs> I, I think I did that so about every, every game. After like we tied with the Bengals, I think I did the reverse psychology thing every week after that. But Bro, that was one. So. That was the worst. Somebody said on um, I want to say it was the A2D page. They were like, uh, they're like, oh, we're yeah, I think it was A2D page. They were like, there's no way that we go any more than uh six, whatever, and one. I was like, damn, I, people are already just guessing that we're gonna die again. Like, right. <laughs> that's like you know, they, we ain't got no faith in this team. Right. <laughs> we already <laughs> guessing the, the ties. Oh man, yeah, it was. I remember because I. Was, I was on with you guys pregame for the before the Browns game, the one time before that. I think that was like the first time we collabed, and we were like we were like feeling pretty hopeful. Like the Eagles can do this. Like they're an end end of the year team. Like it's there's still hope, and I still had hope. And that Cowboys game where Jalen Hurts was popping off in the first first quarter, I was like, it's happening. Like we're going to the playoffs this year, and you know, I guess it it might have been better just that. You know, it didn't I think happen. we would have beat Washington if we were, if we were playing too. for full force that game. Right. Well, I mean, they didn't play. Alex Smith was definitely not 100 percent in that game against our backup. So, no. I yeah, I don't, know. I don't understand how we suck so bad this year. <laughs> it, it, I guess it, it's, it's so we were up 17-0 against Washington, and all of a sudden, it all just, fell apart. It just clicked. It was just like, "What are you doing? We're tanking this year." Seriously. <laughs> And, and so, like, yeah, Brandon, me and you have talked about doing, like, some type of form of podcast or something for probably years now. Like, we've had that group chat for, like, years now. And we've been talking about doing this for a long time. And the year I choose to finally freaking do it, <laughs> we have, like, the most embarrassing year. Like, it, it, it right. was great for YouTube growth. I'll say that. Right. right. <laughs> it was amazing for YouTube. Hey, we're, we're in the same boat. We started ours during quarantine back then so exactly. like <laughs> but all right so we're at pick 70 right now somehow Trayvon Moray is still on the board I was gonna say um, like I'm I don't know if that'll happen but he is there Creed Humphrey is there that would be a valid replacement for Jason Kelsey um is the think like Howie one so we gotta keep that in mind Jabril Cox is still there Quincy Roche. I could see him taking Quincy Roche, if I'm being honest. I was going to say, yeah, I feel like at this point, this is somewhere where he would, you know, but do you, does he go with best player available? I feel like this is the draft he has to go with. Take a linebacker that is a reach that would probably make it to the fourth (laughs) round and take him this round. That's what, yeah, we have to realize we are doing what Howie would do. So we really do have to 
You have, to, you have to at this point win the third round. You got to pick a project player. I mean, it wasn't Davion Taylor, kind of like a all right, exactly. he's kind of like a project player. But Shaka we're Tony, oh my round. god, take Shaka Tony. Shaka <laughs> Tony would be the biggest reach, and I'm a Penn State fan, so for me to say this, that would be the biggest reach in my opinion. But you guys, I, we didn't take Parsons, but we got Shaka. Actually, that's a pretty <laughs> dope name. So if we that's took him and he actually turned out to be kind of solid. I'd be hyped because I like cool yeah, names. Uh, uh, he's good. He's just not that good. He's not. I don't yeah. think he's going to be in the NFL. I heard. He's not funny, but I did hear he balled out at the Senior Bowl the whole week. Um, so that Shaka. might rise. Shock is yeah, Shaka, especially with the fact there's no combine this year or anything. Like, yeah. who knows? Like, it really, you're probably going to see some reaches like this. I could, I could actually see this happening. I could also see him taking Quincy Roche, but I'm not going to lie. I, I could see Shaka going here. <laughs> I you know I don't think we'll take shock. I you know I mean maybe maybe I'm too close to the situation. I try not right. to be like, you know, I try not to just be like, oh yeah, he's amazing. But <laughs> I, don't, I don't think he's really gonna be that good. But we'll see. I think if it's me, I'm taking the safety. I think, but I think he would probably take a lineman here. I, I just feel like this is a lineman pick, like an offensive think, lineman, like a D lineman, like oh, gotcha, gotcha. offensive lineman. Is there a, is there an edge rusher there that's a kind of like a reach? I mean, I don't know if Rush can reach, but I, I think, you know. Got a few guys in here. Patrick Jones from, from Pittsburgh. A couple other guys in here. Down here, there's a bunch of edge rushers as well. You know, realistically, I'm going to – I'm I'm between three people. I'm between the safety, I'm between Creed, and I'm between mm -hmm. um, Shaka. Roche. Nah, Roche. Those are my three right now, if I'm being 100% honest. Shaka. I, gotcha. I think Creed is the best – Selection, I think Creed, depending on what, like you said, what what um Kelsey does, right? That could be the best pick. Um, and then I just think I think you know how we just and our team loves our defensive linemen, so right. I I, I think if Mo Reg is here, I think I think you would have you would have to take him. Um, yeah. yeah, I don't know. I'm I'm gonna go with Mo Reg. Yeah, I think that's where we gotta go. We gotta be honest. If he's still right. there. Too too easy, right? All right, so we ended up in this with was it Devonte was our first pick? Here we go, Devonte, Isaiah, and Trayvon. All right, I'm I'm okay with that draft. I I, like I would that. love that. Yeah, I would that'd love be that. that'd be pretty solid. Yeah. I would love that. I mean, I'm like I said, I'm not the biggest fan of the Devonte Smith pick, but then you go ahead and, and it's not that I'm a, not a big fan. It's just you know obviously I want a linebacker, but man, if you right. could back it up with two solid, you know starting level uh, defensive players. I like that. I'm happy with that. I, I, I can. Right. Right. Yeah. For sure. I mean, well, if we, if we draft like a stud, or one of the top players in that six pick, that's going to make that first night. Awesome. For all <laughs> fans and content creators alike. <laughs> right. Exactly. Yeah. For we don't sure. have to wait till 25 to cry. Yeah. We're <laughs>